Hello, people. Before starting this review, I will say a few words about the last video. I promised in it that I would show the recipe for washing, but unfortunately it turned out that there were cyanides in the composition. And since the law on YouTube is very strict, it is forbidden to show the manufacture of explosive, especially toxic substances. And now here is such a dead end. That is, for showing, for example, getting even some kind of cyanide, you can get strike from the YouTube administration, that is, close the channel and such bad news, unfortunately. I can't show the wash, because there will be production. I think after all cyanide. So oh I don't know, right what can be done? Well, here are the bad news. Let's move on to unpacking. This is the parcel she came from Portugal here, by the way, a gold bar. Most likely in quotation marks, but a gold bar. Eugene sent me a huge hello from me. For review, he bought this ingot on eBay. Let's see. Oops. What is this gold bar? Maybe the real one, maybe not, but most likely. Wow, what a beautiful one. Blimey. Look, that's it. It really looks like gold. A very beautiful ingot. Well, by weight of 200 G, there is definitely somewhere around 250 G. And today we will check whether there is gold in it. If it is confirmed that there is gold in it, we will completely dissolve it in acid. And the very first test will be our rope with nitric acid. If nitric acid reacts, that is, it means some kind of low-grade gold alloy. And if it doesn't react, then it means gold well, or some kind of alloy. Unfortunately, look, the reaction immediately went. Yes, the gold does not react with nitric acid in this way. Unfortunately, some alloy. Judging by the color, it contains copper. So, let's take samples from here with a drill and then process it with nitric acid. Let's see if there is a trace of gold. Does it actually contain gold or not? When working with acids, it is unforgettable to wear goggles and wear gloves so that there are no burns on your hands. So now, I transfer a few grams of vingot shavings into a glass. Naturally, if even one milligram of gold does not show, then I don't see any reason to completely dissolve this ingot. But if it shows a qualitative reaction, then we dissolve a little with water, so that the salts that form dissolve, and put it on a quartz bath. And now, you can add nitric acid here. I have technical nitric acid gold, if there is, it will remain in the balance. And for example, silver copper will go into solution. That's what turned out to be a rather sad result. 
there is no sediment in the solution. If there were half a milligram of gold, it would precipitate. But unfortunately, there is not even a trace of gold. Well, I want to say that real ingots are also sold on eBay. Here are the cheapest ingots, this is just not gold, but most likely a type of bronze or brass. So, well, let's check if there is silver. So I prepared a solution of table salt and check. No silver, no gold. This is such a sad ingot. So look, don't get fooled by various ads. Where they sell cheap gold bars because it's a linden, in fact, it's a piece of bronze.